in this short video you will find out the process how to plant your tree, tips for safe tree planting and you will see how your trees will grow from small saplings to mature trees over the next 10 years. Okay, so we're going to start with planting these wild cherry. Uh, you've given them to me in a bag. Shall I take them all out? No, the best thing to do is just take the trees out individually as we need them. If you take them all out the bag at once, the roots are exposed to the wind and the sunlight and it'll kill the trees. Superb. Okay, I'll leave them in the bag then. Yeah. Now, the first thing to do, not surprisingly, is to dig a hole. So, using this small spade, it's, it's, it's nice and light, makes it easy work, unlike that big one you've got. You're just cutting a nice big turf there? Yeah, just cut a nice big turf. We lift that off to begin with, and then dig the soil out. Don't throw it too far from the hole because you're obviously going to be putting it back in. Okay, do you want to get me a tree out, please? These are quite small trees, Colin. Yeah, they're, they're between about 30 and 45 centimetres. We've found over the years these are the trees that tend to establish best. Uh -huh. uh, it's bare root stock. What do you mean by bare root stock? Well, basically, there's no soil around it, it's not in a pot. Okay. Okay, so. One of the biggest problems with tree planting is people plant them either too deeply or too shallow. So basically you want to be about two inches above the root stock. Mm -hmm. So I'll offer that up into the hole. Yes, yeah, so that looks about the right depth, Pete. So do you want to uh, fill the soil back in for me yep. and I'll hold the tree up straight? Okay. So just throw it all in or gently? Just gently. Okay, if you stop. And at this stage, what we've got to do is firm the soil up around the tree and that basically gets all the air out, stops the roots getting frostbite. And I noticed you split the turf down the middle earlier as well. Yeah, that's because we're going to put the turf back around the tree, but we're actually going to put it on in two halves and upside down, just like that. And why do you put it on upside down? Basically, that'll just help to stop the competing grass and weeds out competing the tree for nutrients. Excellent, we've planted our tree. Job done. Not quite, there is one more really important job to do. And what's that? Well, if we leave the tree like this, it's at risk from predation from things like voles and rabbits and hares. We can stop that with a spiral guard. All right, okay. So, this is the spiral guard. And how do you put that on? Okay, you take your cane, just put it close to the tree, push it in nice and firm, mm -hmm. then you take the tube. Right. The guard opens up like so. All right, okay. Then it's just a case of wrapping it around, being careful not to damage the bark of the tree. Like so. Mm -hmm. And then just firmly push the, the guard in at the bottom. Right, okay. And that's it, that is job done. Superb, okay. So you say this protects from voles and rabbits and hares? Yeah, exactly. Make sure you wear suitable footwear such as trainers, wellies or rain boots. It's November, it's quite likely to rain. Make sure you wear your waterproof clothing, so be prepared with a raincoat. Tools might be sharp or heavy and could cause injury if not used correctly. Be aware of other people close by. Spades and forks should never be swung over your shoulder as you could injure someone. Carry them with a point and blade pointing towards the ground.